A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from. Enough about how awesome you are, back to the video. Welcome. In this episode we are going to be checking out the new assets that have come into the rotation on the Epic Marketplace store. These are the assets for 2023 of January and you can find them in the marketplace by going to free section here and free for the month. We will have five new assets here available for us this month. It's going to be the Orca Games full animation bundle, the Magic and Spell Sounds Pro, Procedural Biomes, Did It Hit Trace Detection plugin, and Triplex House Villa. In addition to that, under the permanently free collection, we also have the advanced stats and runes system that is available for well permanently uh, so the ones under free for month are the ones that you need to get in this month for free if you want to keep them forever and all you need to do is add them to your cart and check them out and you'll be uh, checking them out for uh, zero amounts of moonies anyway let's check these assets out so starting out we have the orca full animation bundle this is a bundle that consists of a half a dozen or so asset packs that they have created that total up to approximately 400 animations. And you can see that they are sort of organized here. We have an ultimate animation set. We have a game animation collection. We have a cardio machines. We have a cardio pack. We have a yoga gym training pack and we have a ultimate animation set version three. Um, so just glancing at this, you can see that you get a lot of different uh, animations here. Looking at them more closely, you can see that you are getting a lot of uh, overlap, I would claim. You have like three different characters all doing, actually four here in this case, pointing in different directions. I'm going to assume that these count as four animations for this set. Um, so even though there are a lot of animations in this, I do feel that it's a little bit lacking in comprehensiveness because it's not cohesive as in all of them go together and make this like full uh, sensation of functionality when it comes to animations um, but there are so many that you're for sure likely to be able to find something that you can make use of here you can see that there are a bunch of different idle animations falling over animations crawling animations there are animations next to walls some sort of very weird jumping jack uh, some kind of poses for fighting lots of idols uh, standing lifting carrying getting ready for combat pointing readying with rifles and such several swimming these look identical just on different heights uh, so th there's a little bit of weird uh, occurrences like this, but going through this, you can see that there are a lot. You, you have things, people going onto the ground. You can see that they're walking in different directions, looking in different ways, having holding weapons in different forms and shapes. Um, you can also see that there are things that look similar to zombies over here, and or possibly sleepwalkers that are really drowsy. I don't know. Um, people talking on mobile phones, carrying things, stuff like that. Uh, then you have these that are a little bit more cohesive in, in their own set. Cardio machines, all of them are related to uh, workout. Cardio pack, similarly there. You have the yoga pack over here where there's different yoga poses between the different characters. And then you have this slightly weird animation set which consists of several characters just sitting still in a wheelchair uh, and there's some driving animations, some jumping animations, some sort of swimming animations here and also one of the big packs that I skipped over here uh, which is the game animation collection uh, which might be the one that's most useful possibly. I'm not entirely sure because all of these, or not all of these, a lot of these are uh, turning around animations so it's difficult to get a comprehensive view of 
how many of these are just those mobility animations and uh, which are other montage like animations essentially uh, but you can see there is a lot of them here you're for sure to find something here that you can find uh, as useful for your projects Next up, we have the magic and spell sounds. Now, we don't often get a lot of uh, sound related assets when it comes to these uh, free for the month. So this is pretty nice. And magic effects are something that can uh, both be used for magical effects, but sometimes for other things. Like, for example, in this case, this pack is consisting of approximately 600 uh, sound effects and they are organized into different categories here you have casting loops uh, chimes uh, you have elemental schools general and special attacks so things like elemental schools for example might be something that you could make use of for other things fire could be used for actual fires lightning could be used for lightning strikes and water for babbling brooks or something like that you know so there's a lot of uh, variety in this pack when it comes to that but they all have a, a general collection of being related to magics and magic spells um, the different um, files are available as cues which you can play or as wave files so it's up to you and we can click on some of these so you can get sort of a sense of what they sound like Take a look at some special attacks, maybe. So these vary a bit, um, and they're sort of difficult to visualize since they are obviously not visual. Um, but yeah, this is always something nice to have for sure. Next up, we have the procedural biomes pack. And this is the overview map, which consists of all the different meshes and foliage that are available in this pack. So you can see we have some Mediterranean palms and then moving on to other trees. We have some roads, we have some smaller flowers and then some winter flowers and then moving on towards trees that are more for the winter and such. Um, so these are all the assets that are being used in these packs and they have three different uh, example maps we have a mediterranean map which we can look in and see they have made a pretty nice looking scene here with the different assets available uh, as you can see it's mostly just a, a landscape with some of the trees strewn around and then possibly some some flowers if you get close enough to see them here in the the grass so that's what that one looks like. They also have a northern atmosphere kind of terrain map. And this is what that looks like. So it's fairly wintered. Uh, lots of snow. Still some flowers, especially when there's no snow around. And they also have a northern variant of this map where the snow is mostly gone, essentially. And this is what that looks like. It looks a little bit blocky until the, the landscape has formed up. Um, so you can see here lots of uh, trees and, and some grass and such and not so much snow on this map. So generally pretty nice looking uh, overall I would ga uh, gauge it. Um, I don't know of the quality when it comes to uh, performance and such. Uh, so that I will leave for others to determine. Next up, we have a did it hit trace detection plugin. Uh, this plug plugin, this is an example map using this plugin uh, where they have set up, uh, essentially it's working like this. Uh, if you have followed my Create an RPG uh, series, we have essentially set up a very similar system uh, on its most basic level. Um, when you play here, you have a character and if you left click, it swings and you can see that it's uh, drawing these different uh, lines of where it is swinging and you can also uh, alternate between different weapons so you can see that the, the swings are slightly different for them 
this halberd for example only traces along the, the head and then it keeps track of uh, what kind of things that you intersect with and then print it out on the screen as well along with some uh, testing characters over here. So how this works is that there is a, a plugin component that is available on the character here uh, and it essentially has some parameters here that you can use to uh, change around to get different types of traces. Uh, some are more or less expensive or more or less uh, um, accurate and some of them are made for um, uh, things like melee combat, other things are better for things like uh, tracing between things like bullets or projectiles. Uh, this specific uh, trace here is the one that we did in the create RPG system where I pointed out also that this has the limitation of if your animation is too fast it will possibly skip over uh, the detection and this uh, detection system allows it by uh, instead of just dragging or doing line traces along the, the weapon that is equipped it is also uh, drawing traces between the different points of the starts and stops in between different frames which covers up if the animation skips for a little bit if, if the performance is low. So this plugin uh, in all is essentially just for if you want to have a trace detection system and you don't want to really get into the nitty-gritty of like uh, trying to set one up then this is available for you to, to get a, a bit of a head start. They also have a documentation available. You can find it on the Epic Marketplace. They have a link there where they describe essentially how the procedure of setting this up works. You need to have the different sockets on a specific mesh and then it's tracing between those different sockets. And then you have some different information that you need to uh, relay to uh, the, the plugin or the component and the the settings that you can uh, alter this plugin to uh, affect with and also some events and functions that you have available uh, with this functionality as well. So that's uh, the, the trace detection plugin in essence. Next up we have the triplex house villa pack and this falls into the category of architectural visualization which means that these will all be assets that are pretty high quality because um, they're supposed to be rendered so that they look uh, like they're real life uh, assets essentially or real life objects I guess. Um, so here is the overview of this uh, pack and you can see that it consists of a lot of different things. There are furniture and small bobs and bibs. Not entirely sure that's what it's called. Uh, anyway, uh, lots of different types of um, assets available here for all kinds of groupings, the training equipment, kitchenware, um, dishwashers, gardening, bikes, cribs, beds, uh, curtains, bookshelves, and also, um, I'm not sure what these are called, uh, and just small ornamental items as well. So there's a lot of variety and a lot of different objects here, which is nice. Uh, when it comes to the actual uh, demonstration, we also have a house villa. We can um, see all of these items in display. So they have created this sort of house here, uh, which has a little bit of a garden looking pretty nice. Uh, and this house, which consists of a loft, which has, whoa, this sort of gym available and some sort of uh, laundry or other room here you have a, uh, a ladder you can go down here come into these rooms here uh, let's see if i can navigate properly here we have a bedroom with a tv we have a downstairs uh, dining area, and the upstairs uh, living room area for entertainment. And here's the kitchen. And here is apparently the entrance hall. And the garden we have seen. 
and here's the laundry room so yeah uh, as you can see, there's a lot of different variation when it comes to these assets, assets so that's pretty nice. Um, not entirely sure how useful this is for games since they tend to be very high resolution textures when it comes to these kind of things, but hey, that depends on the game, I suppose. Lastly, we have the Advanced Stats with Runes system. Um, this is in the Permanently Free collection, so uh, we'll go through this a little bit, demonstrating how it works. Uh, it takes inspiration, I believe, from uh, Dark Souls. You have essentially a sort of uh, uh, rune system here, where you can equip runes. Uh, these different slots uh, unlock depending on when you level up, and there's a little bit of a level up volume over there you can traverse into it to unlock those then you can place uh, runes inside of these squares so you can go to uh, let's see we go like this we can go to our character over here we can interact with him by pressing the e key we can buy these different runes from him that are different car categories you have different filters you can have non-filter simple filter advanced expert and special and you can purchase these for your gold and you have your gold here so there's a bunch of different systems here for showing how you could do some purchasing back and forth to get items and once you have purchased items you have them available over here and you can uh, they are categorized so this is the simple category advanced category expert category and special category and you have scroll bars showing uh, that you have other runes here that you can make use of uh, so what we can do here is we have these purple slots over here so we can drag an attack speed over here for example up here and now it's equipped um, in addition to that if we drag it back we can also see that if we hover over the stats we can see a attack speed stat of 0 0.2 up there if we press on our 2 key we can bring up our stats sheet uh, where we can see our attack speed is apparently 16 so if we drag this attack speed rune over here we can now press 2 again and you can see that it's 16.2 so it has increased by the the point 2 that the rune had uh, this system also consists of a sort of leveling system where you can allocate different points into these four spirits instead of souls then uh, where they affect different categories of stats when you are increasing them and you also get a sort of a indicator when you're hovering over the stats to see which different uh, parts that will be affected if you increase or decrease these different stats as well which is always a nice quality of life thing for a player so there is a lot of things to to dig in here and and examine this is probably the best um, asset when it comes to actually learning from a, in in this month's asset pool um, so yeah Make sure that you do that if this is of interest to you. Anyway, that's going to be all for now. Keep on learning. Take care. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you did not like it, leave a dislike. Leave any suggestions or comments you have down below. Subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future. That is all for now. Keep on learning. Take care.